today is Sabbath, July 11, and I am 10 weeks and 5 days pregnant. We just got done hosting the Pathfinders at our house. There were about 40 people at our house, and needless to say, I'm exhausted. My legs hurt, my feet are tired, and I'm just completely just done with the day. I need to relax. But pretty much, other than this, I haven't had any new symptoms or anything weird happening. If anything, I'm actually feeling better. I have a little bit more energy and I've actually slept the past couple of nights without having to wake up to go to the bathroom, which is a major, major, major plus. Since we last chatted, Tim and I celebrated our eight year anniversary a little bit early. Our anniversary is actually on July 15, which is this coming Wednesday, but we celebrated over the July 4 weekend, and we went to OMSI because we wanted to go see the CSI exhibit they have there, but really the reason that we wanted to go was to look at the fetal exhibit that they have there all the time. It's awesome. I mean, you can see babies in all different stages of development, pretty much up to when they're fully mature. I don't know if the oldest one there is at 40 weeks, but it's pretty close. Maybe 38. It's They're really close, and you can see them even littler than the stage that I'm at. So it was really cool to see and to imagine how big the baby is right now and to see what's going on. So that's pretty cool. And we even toyed around with getting a membership for this year so we could keep going back. We didn't do it, but we might end up back there again because that was a pretty amazing thing because you just don't see things like that these days because I guess this was done back in the 40s and now you obviously can't take fetuses and plasticize them or whatever they did to preserve them. So that was awesome. Let's see, what else do I need to talk about? I already talked about symptoms, right? Like I said earlier, there's no new symptoms and things do seem to be improving. I have actually been wearing my compression stockings on days that of course I'm not wearing capris or a dress to work. And actually those aren't as bad as I thought they'd be. I Tim had a pair of compression stockings he wore on a surgical rotation and I thought that those were really uncomfortable and I could hardly get them on. And so I was really resistant to the idea, but we went and got me fitted several weeks ago after my first doctor's appointment and those have been really comfortable to wear not a big deal and they only go up to my knees so i've been wearing those and then of course my boobs keep growing and not hurting like they used to so i've had to go get some new bras to get me through and i'm sure i'm gonna probably keep growing there but you know have to get through this time being um let's see what else what else what else what else Nothing else really super exciting this week other than the fact that today Tim made a comment, it's probably because the shirt I'm wearing, that yeah honey I think you really are pregnant because your belly's getting a little bit rounder. So that's kind of cool that he's been able to tell and we've been still trying the fetal Doppler a couple times a week just to see if we can hear anything but of course that is not supposed to work until week 12. But we keep trying because this time right now is completely nerve wracking. I haven't heard or seen or anything about the baby since week eight when we had our appointment and I have one more week and a few days to go till my next appointment and it is just complete torture because I have no idea if there's a heartbeat, I have no idea if there's still something in there, I haven't had any bleeding but it's just like is it there, is it not? So it's just completely frustrating because yeah my belly does seem to be growing a little bit but it's not like I can't feel any kicking, I can't, it's, it's just this is complete torture. So I'm very very anxiously awaiting my appointment in a, in, well, a week and a couple days to hear the heartbeat, make sure everything's all good with my doctor, and then later that week we're getting an ultrasound to um, see if the baby's okay and get its neck measure to determine whether or not the baby has Down syndrome or any other sort of autosomal. Yes? No. Not autosomal. Something. Chromosomal. Boy. Chromosomal disorder. Boy, it's not like the kid's going to have AIDS. Anyway. So... <laughs> That's pretty much it. So we will chat again after that appointment. So then that way we kind of know what is going on and if there's any new developments to share. And that'll be the weekend after all those appointments that we're gonna make it official and tell people and finally let the cat out of the bag. It's been killing me personally because I think this is getting really, really hard to hide. Uh, the fact that I'm pregnant since my belly keeps growing. So it'll be nice to just finally, it'll be out in the air, everybody will know, nobody will be asking me, well, when are you having kids? Because I'm like so sick of hearing that. And they won't be like, oh, do you want me to get you a coffee? Do you want me to blah, 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 whatever. I don't have to just keep, people will understand why I'm denying things. And another thing that happened today that kind of freaked me out, at our Pathfinder potluck, we, have, we, we are not soda people, we do not drink a lot of soda, but we hosted a young adult barbecue a couple weeks ago and bought a different bunch of sodas for that. And 
I got some orange sun-kissed soda because I liked it as a kid. I figured, hey, it doesn't have caffeine in it. It's all good. So we had some leftover from that at this Pathfinder barbecue. <clears throat> and one of the kids' moms didn't want him to have the soda because it has caffeine in it. And Tim told me about it later, and I was freaking out because at our young adult barbecue, I had one of those sodas because I thought it didn't have caffeine in it. So I'm like, oh my goodness, so I'm researching on the internet about caffeine and pregnancy because I have been religiously avoiding caffeine, avoiding all the cheeses I'm not supposed to have and all that kind of stuff. But luckily there's not very much caffeine in it. And apparently you can even drink a couple cups of coffee a day when you're pregnant. So that made me feel a little bit better. So obviously because of that, now I'm freaking out even more. So I can hardly wait till week 12 to see what's going on and just to know that everything's okay. So Tim wanted me to let all of you know that today was the first day that baby was on TV and I totally forgot about this. Tim and I had a busy day other than hosting the Pathfinders for barbecue. We let out in a time for singing at church. And what that involves is just we have to go up front and just lead the congregation in a few hymns. And I wore one of my maternity dresses and Tim assured me before I left the house that I didn't look pregnant, it was okay. But I totally looked pregnant in that dress. I don't think they were seeing hiding it. But anyway, I was up in front of the whole church. I have no idea what they were thinking, whether or not they were like, is she or isn't she? I don't know. Because with all the bright light shining on us, I couldn't tell whether or not they were looking at me. But anyway, they film this church service to show at the hospital. And then they show it, I think, on cable TV or something in the Portland area. But, you know, really, really late at night. Like, I'm sure not a whole lot of people are watching it. But anyway, Baby Inside Me was on TV for the first time today. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> so this is the week 10 five-day belly, which Tim was thinking was making it quite noticeable that I was pregnant. And I'm kind of dressed in lounge clothes. I've got flannel pants on and a tank top, so I'm not wearing anything fancy. But it's so comfortable, let me tell you. So this is the belly, very fancy, very pretty. I think definitely sticking out. And here's the belly with the shirt over it, which is kind of fun. Last summer, the shirt wasn't tied on me at all. But look at it now. It's gonna have to retire in a couple weeks, I think. So that is the impressive week 10, five day belly. It'll be bigger next time. So that's it for this week, over now.